Welcome to the OpenEMR project. This video is the second video of the OpenEMR Easy Docker development environment series and will show a developer how to create random patients in OpenEMR. OpenEMR does this by utilizing the Cynthia project and is integrated with OpenEMR's Easy Docker development environment to be able to do this with one command. The assumptions of this tutorial are that you have set up the OpenEMR Easy Docker development environment, which is covered in a video, which is shown linked in this slide. Uh, will also be, uh, the link will also be placed in the video summary. And as is in that prior tutorial, uh, the environment is in the home backslash git backslash OpenEMR directory. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is restart our Docker. So we're going to basically go back into our home directory and then go back into our git OpenEMR or git backslash OpenEMR backslash docker docker development hyphen easy directory and do that OpenEMR dash CMT up command, which will restart all of our Dockers and restart our development uh, system. You're going to have to wait another five to 10 minutes or so uh, before the uh, Dockers will be up and working. And we'll do this command, the OpenEMR dash CMD DL command, just to ensure that Dockers are starting. This is what you will again see after the Dockers have completed their build. So we'll open a web browser and then go to localhost colon 8300 and localhost colon 8300, which will then get us to the opening of our login screen. Admin is username, password is pass. We're just gonna, as you can see right now, opening mar, we have no patience in this uh, opening mar and your opening mar that you just started up. So here's just showing the output of the openmr-cmd command. Here's the command that we're going to do, this import random patient command, which is IRP. So you do openmr-cmd, IRP, and then the number of random patients you want to create, which in this case, we're going to do 10. Here, what's happening is the uh, Docker is now setting everything up to be able to create these random patients. It uses something called Cynthia, S-Y-N-T-H-E-A, which is a well-known project for creating random patient data. So right now it's pretty much doing all it needs to do to install that uh, software to be able to create those uh, patients. So now it's importing patients. You'll notice all these PHP deprecated lines, which are things you can just ignore essentially. This is just sort of PHP output that doesn't, that uh, it does not mean any errors are happening. It's just uh, things that show up when uh, the code is running. As you can see here, it now says it's completed the run to bring in those 10 patients. So at this point, you can, no go, you can go back into your OpenEMR and you can click, you can see here now you have those 10 patients that are in your uh, OpenEMR. 10 randomly created patients. We'll click on one. As you can see, here's the patient summary for that patient that you uh, selected, which shows all the uh, information for that patient, all randomly created by the Cynthia uh, project. And you can see there have been 10 that were brought in. So that's the uh, end of the tutorial. 